Hey, what's up everyone? It's Joe from JPRC again. Uh, what you're looking at here today is what's called electronic NAS system. And this is a, uh, a basically a capacity pack that um, you can plug a 2S LiPo battery into it and then with a third channel receiver and you can kick a button uh, it will turn the, um, the voltage uh, up to a 3 cell and that will give you kind of a, a split second boost uh, so that will give you kind of like a now system kick in so I thought it was kind of uh, cool and I picked it up from Hobby King for I think five dollars when it was when it was on sale so uh, in this video we're gonna go in and uh, you know actually test it out and before we can start of course we're gonna have to uh, swap out these connectors it comes with the XT60 connectors and as you can see there's an N uh, for uh, in and that is the side that we'll be um, replacing with the male Traxxas connector and on this other side that will be uh, I'll replace it with a, a female Traxxas connector and that will go into the side of the uh, ESC so uh, with the magic here on YouTube I'm gonna go quickly and uh, change out to uh, Traxxas connector voila so we have now installed the Traxxas connectors on both sides uh, and before we try try it on my slash uh, I noticed that this is a 14 gauge wire here and uh, it may be a concern for me because most of the 10 scale LiPo batteries and uh, as well as the Traxxas Maxxis cables they're 12 gauge that means they're thicker in size and it can handle more low so I'm not sure if uh, the 14 gauge is going to be a problem I guess we're going to have to find out together and on paper it takes about 20 seconds to charge the, uh, the cap the caps here and it will freeze on the uh, 3 cell power for about 2 seconds when you hit the third channel button from your radio um, and this is not compatible with those uh, with brush version of your slash because the 12 turn titan motor is not 3S capable so if you put this device on it it might burn something up so I would highly recommend that you don't do it however if you have the VXL version or a castle side binder or any do you sell capable uh, brushless combo? Uh, it is okay to use the, this device on it. So uh, without too much talking, I am going to take it out on, uh, put it on my slash, and uh, we'll find out together how well this works. All right, guys. So now we're outside. We're gonna be testing out the Hobby King Ena system. So what I have hooked up to it right now is a 2S LiPo, uh, and I'm gonna be using the third channel. A button here to test out a NAS and kick it in so I'm gonna lift the, the rear end up and keep it pinned on full throttle and then there I'm gonna kick in the um, the uh, the NAS with the dirt channel button and we'll see how it goes full throttle uh, non not active and then I'm gonna go uh, kick in the NAS all right so uh, with the rear air with no low, it actually does work uh, as advertised. But uh, the next up, we're gonna try it on the uh, on the parking lot here and see how it goes. Right, that first path was pretty good. I did uh, feel the power and I also, you can hear it pretty loud when the 3S power kicks in. So uh, I'm gonna let it charge for a few seconds and then we're gonna make another pass to see how it goes. And uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm just gonna, you know, burn some rubber here and spin it around. So, uh, all right, I think we're good to go and try it again. All right, let's go. All right, second round, second pass. I'm gonna try it when the NAS kick when it drive by, we're kicking the NAS. Okay, let's go. All right, that was pretty cool. I I did feel the power. It's actually pretty awesome. So uh, if I'm on the track, going in the first uh, in a straight line, trying to overtake someone, that will be something that is useful. So I'm gonna try it again. One more pass. Ooh, that was a close call. Trying to navigate the camera and then the NAS and then everything else. All right, we're doing another shot with an onboard GoPro. Uh, I'll be kicking you in the NAS again in the middle of a pass. 
uh, and then want to see if there's actually a difference from an onboard perspective. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can hear it from the motor. All right, let's try it again. Alright guys, so now we have final confirmation that uh, this ENOS system does work. It's more than just a gimmick uh, from all uh, testing from with no low, uh, testing with, uh, from a third person view and also testing from a first person view. So we confirm that this little ENOS system actually works pretty cool. There's only one catch to it is that when you're switching on and off, you have to remember because once it's string, it does not switch back automatically to disable it. And when that happens, your light bulb may uh, cut off, happens, or your ESC, you know, may behave differently. So make sure once you use it up, you turn it off immediately from your third channel, and this way you'll be back in the normal two cell. But other than that, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it too. So if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. There's a lot more video coming. And thanks for watching.